So here is my downloaded video. We can see it's exactly which we created. Hi, in recent times, videos are the perfect source to engage your audience, promote your business, stunning videos from scratch, or we can use templates. So let's jump into the video. Flexclip.com is the website we will be reviewing today and see how they give us endless possibilities to create stunning videos. So just a little intro. See, they work with all the big companies. They all trust them. And these are some samples, some features which we will be covering in the video right now. We can create by templates or we can start from scratch. Just a quick overview. If we click create by templates. Now just the thing which I was mentioning earlier, we can create everything which is currently on the internet. We can have all the business areas. It can be intros, outros, real estate, purchases, for fashion and beauty, technology, everything. And then it comes to Instagram Reels or Facebook videos or YouTube Shorts or long videos or ads. We have everything to play with. So yeah, uh, I'm not going to use a template, but of course, if you want to save some time, you can select any of these ready-made templates and edit your content. But I will start from scratch by clicking here. So it gives us two flavors. One is storyboard mode and one is timeline mode. Storyboard mode is a simple for basic users, right? You can just upload images or videos, upload music, and that's it. It will give you a cool transitional effects uh, which you will choose but timeline mode uh, if you are familiar with any video editing software you know it gives us gives us more options more functionalities to play with so i will be using timeline mode in this and before we start see it gives us some predefined sizes we can have 1080 or full screen we can have stories or reels we can have post types so all these sizes are currently in the market but i am going to create a youtube video so i'll be using 16 by 9. so here is our welcome screen now we will learn about these options one by one So when we hover our mouse on any video, it starts playing to give us a preview of what the video is. I will simply click plus. It will add this to my timeline. It's added. Now I want maybe another video which would be cooking that meat. 
this one looks better so i'll click this to add to my timeline it's added and now the third one may be to like this somebody is eating and i click plus now if you notice my videos are added to my timeline one video second video and this one is third okay now i can use either this zoom in zoom out option to ensure i can have more screen to edit my video or i can click this and it will fit all these screens all the videos within this timeline so it will use all the space available uh, now these options quickly let's see what this one is delete this one if you want to create a duplicate this one if you want to split split is means this is a part of video maybe you want to have this area removed until here so we will keep keep our selection here and click this split see it gives us a new part new portion and then if we want to have another area of a video we can split it again since i do not want any of this as of now so i will simply go here it's undo and i can also use ctrl z to do that same like windows but i will click this again and make this video as a whole now it will give me duration currently it's 17 seconds if i want i can select how much time i want and it will split up the video from the end and then timeline this one gives you a full view screen for no distraction editing but i'm okay with the previous one this one and add scene again if you want to add another video you can either select here or select here now that our videos are added let's quickly see what the text we want now these are some basic text if i just want text i will enter text double click it and it gives me some predefined styles as well or if i want let's say i can select font here i can select see it has so many fonts i can select size color background i can style to make it italic or bold or format motion motion is the animation if i want a specific animation maybe i want this one this is how it will work i can also adjust the speed to see make it faster or all the way down or all the way back to make it slow so this is how we can add text on our videos and again we have so many styles but this one i do not want so i will simply select this and from here i will remove text i have modern titles i have text shadows social media like if you want people to subscribe to your channel you can have this and then we have so many animations we have lower thirds but i want dynamic text so this one seems perfect even the color combination is great it's white and red so i'll say my me shop daily or i will say fresh now i can also position it properly this will adjust the text in exact area geometrically you see you can place it wherever you want and if i hit play you see how cool now if i select this video and i want to edit volume obviously currently it doesn't have any audio but obviously we will be adding a stock music but for the video options we have zoom in zoom out okay 
or we can fit it or we can fill it and then we have transform if you want to flip it or rotate it and then we have filters these are very powerful filters if you upload your own videos you will see how magically they work even here we can play with the intensity just like that so red meat gets more red and then we have adjust we can adjust exposure of the videos contrast temperature saturation highlights shadows so we have all the options to adjust our videos which you get in maybe thousands of dollars when you purchase a video editor or a photo editor so it gives us for free and then we can adjust the speed of the video just like that to have more dramatic scenes and then we can trim it again if you want a portion of video just like that you only want this one you can select the starting point ending point and trim the video basically it works just like split now that i have my intro or starting video ready it's time to play with the other ones so our main story mode reveals the meat and then we are cooking and then we are eating so our part one is done let's play with the middle one so i select this video and again if you want to adjust anything you can do so you have filters to play with to add more some darkness to to the video see because my i only want video to focus on the subject which here is meat and any, everything else can be darker so i just selected the filter and use the intensity which looks good to me and then i want to speed up i'll do that as well so i'll make it two and i have a video total of 17 seconds here we can see the full duration 17.5 seconds is my current video this seems perfect for an ad and it's really really nice so i do not want this extra portion of video so i will select the video here select the video move my cursor to this position split it up select the splitted area and simply delete it now my total duration is 14.7 seconds which is really cool and of course i want to add some text on on the middle one so i will go back to text again this is the one which i used earlier i can use that or i have more to play with maybe i want this one make sure you have selected this video you want the text on so in my case it's the third one so i'll select my video first and then use this style i want just the text of course you will be using your own and now my three scenes are done i want to add a video audio now so i'll go to music and i will see the type of music i want you will play and see which one suits you better and simply add it there and now when we added this audio you see it's added below the video storyboard so i will select this double click it you can increase the length or just click anywhere else to drop that and then we have we can also drag it to increase it or drag it back to split as per our video and here we can select the volume of the video if you want to increase it or decrease it or if you want to mute it completely that's up to you just one more thing i want to add transition so you notice this line in between those videos two videos you will see this line so just click it here and you will have transitions popped up again select the one which you think is the better select this one i'll select fade one 
and I can have again options to increase or decrease the duration. I have categories white fade to black, fade to white, or just fade or fade to scale. I just want to fade it and I select the transition I want. And if you want to add this one on all the other storyboards, simply click apply to add scenes. It's done. Now when we play our video, you see a nice fading effect. Great. Of course, if you want outros or intros of your logo reveals, you can again add anything you want from videos or media or all other things you which you have elements it's like if you want people to subscribe you see so many things are already done for us so i'm happy it's time to export or publish my video and if you notice i still have not logged in i have not registered so i'll simply click export and it will ask me to register my account has been confirmed so here now i want to export this video i can either use it as gif or gif however you like to pronounce it or you can select as mp4 video again it's it's the free version so i can only export as 480p if you want good quality you can of course upgrade your plan and export them but i just want 480p so i will export the video so here is my downloaded video you see it's exactly which we created it's really very nice and cool thank you for watching guys and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and leave a comment below it really helps thank you so much and i'll see you next bye bye